Hi, and thank you for choosing the Base Station 1000 by Baseline, Baseline's newest intelligent irrigation controller. This is a quick overview on how to program your Base Station 1000. For more information, please visit www.baselinesystems.com. As you can see on the controller, you have several programming menu options. Uh, just by choosing any one of these buttons, you can switch through those. To navigate through in each menu option that you're in, you use your up and down, left and right buttons. OK will select whatever menu you'd like to choose. Back will take you back to the previous menu option. Uh, if you need to switch through programs, uh, you do that by pressing the program button. Uh, if you need to adjust a value in, for example, a zone runtime screen or some other uh, field that you're in, you use your plus and minus buttons. If you get stuck, press the help button for content specific instructions and help for the screen that you're in and you can change the language setup by choosing the English and Spanish button. First thing that you'll do is do a search and assign. The process uh, is the same for 2R and conventional wire. Conventional wire systems will come from the factory already configured uh, for whatever number of zones you have uh, through 48 zones. Um, but they can be reassigned with this process. So uh, one thing to note, um, every baseline device has a serial number. You can see here on the side of this bicoder that there are, is a serial number. And that every device in the field will have one of these serial numbers. And what we're going to do is look for those and then assign them to whatever zone we need to. So I'm going to choose the device assignment for the zones. I'm going to select search. And it will go out and search my, my uh, wire path for all of the devices that are connected. You can see it's searching for and finding them and bringing them in. That's enough for what I'm doing, so I'm going to cancel the action uh, and be okay with what I've already found. You'll see, if you press the down button, all of the devices that were found are now in this list. I can select it by highlighting it, and then I can select which zone I want to assign it to by navigating over. Uh, and to assign it with both of them selected, press the OK button. I'm going to assign just quickly five zones. Once I've made all of my assignments, uh, I'm going to go into the program setup. But as you can see, uh, the screens are the same for each type of device. So in the program setup, I'm going to search for programs. Here I, you can see that I got program 2 selected. I'm going to actually change that. And there's two ways to do that. One is I can just cycle through the programs by pressing the program button. Or if I'd like to go backwards, I press and hold the program button and the minus button to go back to program one. I give in, uh, I assign a zone to a program by giving it a runtime. Uh, in this case, I'm going to give each zone a 10 minute runtime. And I do that just by pressing the plus button. If I go too far, I can press minus. Let's go down, select zone two, and give them each my runtime. And I would do this for any of the zones that I wanted to assign to program uh, one. Again, I can change to program two. I can assign the zone to multiple programs if I'd like, uh, uh, just by giving it a runtime. Next step is I need to decide how I want to start the program. Um, I go into, I've got, uh, in this option, I've got a couple of options. I can choose to start on a day and a time, which is uh, fairly familiar with for most people. Or you can also start a program based on a moisture reading, a switch, or a temperature reading. Uh, we'll go into that in a different video. In this case, I'm going to choose day and time. I'm going to choose my start day. I have weekdays uh, and some of the basic intervals that you're used to seeing. If I want weekdays, I can go in and I can choose just the days of the week. In this case, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do not want to run. The interval is just a basic interval that I'm going to you know, run every third or fourth day. Uh, and Smart Intervals is a, a calendar, two week calendar, and I choose an interval for each two week of the year. Uh, once I've chosen my start days, in this case, I'm going to start every day except Tuesday and Thursday. I then go choose my start times. I have eight start times available, and I would adjust that start time by pressing the plus and minus key. In this case, 8 a.m. is OK. Uh, I'm, once I've done that, I'm going to go into a couple of other features that we recommend you set up. One is soak cycling. 
to turn soak cycling on, you simply decide how many cycles you want to divide your runtime into. In my case, I have 10 minute run times. I want to divide those into two cycles, which is obviously five minutes a piece. And then I would decide how long to let each zone soak before running the next, cy the next cycle. Uh, the intelligent soak cycle is a great feature, which we recommend that you uh, use. For more information on that, visit BaselineSystems.com. Once I've got my soak cycle set up uh, for the program, I then can choose the water window. The water window is basically hours of the day that I'm going to allow or disallow watering. Uh, you can choose each uh, set week means you're going to choose the same for every day of the week uh, and set each day is going to allow you to set different hours for each day of the week. In this case we're going to set each week. To do it you simply go through and select which hour you want to allow or disallow watering. In this case after say 10 a.m. I don't want any watering and I can uh, do this a couple of ways. I can press the minus key and it will take me to the next one or I can press OK uh, and it will toggle through on or off uh, that way. So we're going to turn all watering off until uh, 6 p.m. Once 6 p.m. I want to be able to allow water. That is the water window. If I have to run more than one zone at a time I can do that in zones at one time and I can set that for the program and stack multiple programs by choosing the maximum number of program uh, zones across all programs. Um, if I have a seasonal program or something that I, I'm not going to use very often, this is a convenient feature, enable, disable, I can simply set up a program uh, and then disable it and only enable it when I actually need to use it. Uh, and in this screen you can also set up stops and pauses for your program. Uh, and then you determine for the program whether or not you want a master valve a booster pump uh, or flow meters, water sources to be assigned to the program. That's basic programming for the Base Station 1000. For more information, please visit our website or give us a call. Uh, we hope you enjoy the controller and find it easy to use. Thank you for choosing Baseline.